CEO Binance stated Ripple XRP will surpass Bitcoin in 2023. Garlinghouse repeats that Ripple is ready to negotiate with the SEC if the agency provides clarity on XRP, which will help American institutions such as Bank of America gain a competitive advantage through the use of Ripple ODL. The current price of XRP for today is zero. 35 US dollars, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1360000000 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 30% in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, has not been definitive over the past few days. Last week, the RSI held a neutral value of 50 as support, but recently this level has not passed. Thus, there may be some volatile dynamics during the weekend. Similarly, the Awesome Oscillator, AO, was also below zero. He has not yet shown a strong bearish impulse. The A-D line had a resistance zone that was directly overhead and was indicated by two dotted white lines. If A-D can overcome this region, it will be a sign of sustained demand for the XRP rally. The Directional Movement Index, DMI, showed the absence of a strong trend. ADX, yellow, it was at level 20, ADI just above the 20 mark. Technically, this indicated a bearish trend, but in general meant the absence of a significant trend over the past few days. The $0. 35 dash dollar zero. 36 range will be important to protect the bulls over the next day or two. The formation of a lower low below this area will signal bearish strength. Momentum indicators were inconclusive on the lower time frames. Bitcoin could also strongly influence the direction of XRP in the near future. David Schwartz, chief technology officer of the blockchain company Ripple, believes that Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren may be right when it comes to regulating cryptocurrencies. It's not an awful position to work with. At least it agrees that regulations need to change and that it is important to get crypto regulation right. In a recent article published by the Wall Street Journal, Warren argues that cryptocurrency could eventually destroy the economy if there is not proper oversight. Although the senator acknowledges that cryptocurrencies can potentially make the financial system more inclusive, she also points to the fact that history is littered with all sorts of fraudulent financial schemes that were advertised by criminals and charlatans. Warren argues that the heads of crypto projects that violate the law are no different from other financial instruments, so the Ministry of Justice should use all its strength. Warren also dealt a blow to companies engaged in the mining of cryptocurrencies, which load the energy system and increase greenhouse gas emissions. She stressed that the cryptocurrency should be subject to the same rules as other financial sectors. On Twitter, Schwartz wrote that this is not a terrible position to work in. It's not a terrible position to work in. At the very least, she agrees that the rules need to change and that it is important to ensure proper regulation of cryptocurrencies. Warren has long been one of the leading cryptoseptics of Congress. In a September interview, the progressive MP called the cryptocurrency unreliable, destructive, and dangerous. In early April, Warren compared buying Bitcoin to buying air. Ripple Labs CEO Brad Garlinghouse reiterated that the lawsuit with the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, can only be settled if the federal agency provides regulatory clarity regarding XRP. Garlinghouse announced this to Linkto sales director Nick Barafato at the recently concluded Ripple Swell 2022 conference in London. I met Brad Garlinghouse face to face and he made it clear that Ripple is ready to negotiate with the SEC if they can clarify the situation with XRP, Barafato said. According to him, Garlinghouse also said that American financial institutions are monitoring the development of the ongoing lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple. He added that these companies will join Ripple when the blockchain company comes to an agreement with the SEC. Burafato said Garlinghouse was specific about Bank of America. The head of Ripple believes that Bank of America will gain a competitive advantage when the blockchain company settles with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Bank of America will gain a competitive advantage when the SEC case against Ripple is settled by using ODL in the market. Ripple Labs CEO Brad Garlinghouse told Linkto sales director Nick Burafato at Ripple Swell 2022 in London that Bank of America will gain a competitive advantage when the SEC case against Ripple is settled through the use of ODL in the market. In November 2020, Ripple named Bank of America as a leading participant in its global RippleNet payment network. Despite Ripple's lawsuit against the SEC, Bank of America is still listed among the financial institutions of the network. Currently, it does not appear that the Securities and Exchange Commission has agreed that XRP is not a security. On the contrary, the SEC seeks to prove that XRP is a security using the Howey test, as well as considering XRP sales on the secondary market, such as exchanges, as sales of securities.
It is worth noting that Ripple failed to reach an agreement with the SEC before the company was sued. The parties filed petitions, objections and responses for summary proceedings. Earlier this month, the SEC won a similar lawsuit against the LBRY crypto company, which gave the agency confidence that it would also win Ripple's lawsuit. Supporters of XRP believe that Ripple has more chances to prove that the cryptocurrency is not a security. Binance has confirmed that it will hold a Flare FLR, giveaway on January 9 among eligible XRP holders. Binance, the world's largest exchange by daily trading volume, has confirmed its support for the recently announced Flare FLR, distribution, which will take place by January 9, 2023 for eligible XRP holders. This confirmation followed the exchange's announcement of airdrop support two years ago, when the token was still called Spark, Spark. The Flare Networks team announced the development in an official tweet and press release on their website. Binance has confirmed that on January 9, 2023, they will provide Flare tokens, FLR, to eligible customers. Binance has confirmed that they will provide the hashtag Flare, dollar FLR, token distribution to eligible customers on January 9, 2023. According to the press release, Binance confirmed that it will distribute the first 15% of FLR tokens on the platform to eligible XRP holders. According to the Flare team, the distribution will occur in the ratio of 0. 0.1511 FLR to 1 XRP at the time of the snapshot from December 12, 2020. This means that customers who had XRP on their Binance balance at the time of the snapshot on December 12, 2020, will receive 0. 0.1511 FLR for every 1 XRP token. This is consistent with earlier announcements. In addition, as confirmed in previous reports, the rest of the token distribution will be determined by the results of the vote held on the Flare Improvement Proposal, FIP. 01. If the votes are in favor of the proposal, addresses that have wrapped and delegated their tokens to Oracle's Flare Time Series, FTSO, will receive more FLR tokens in the ratio 0. 8562 FLR for every one XRP stored, and will not be sent by airdrop within 36 months. Upon completion of the entire distribution event, XRP holders will receive 10073 FLR for each XRP stored at the time of snapshot creation for 36 months. The Flare team noted that it will update the community accordingly in case of further support for the distribution from Binance. Finally, the team provided additional clarifications regarding the recent confirmation from Binance. The press release specifically notes that the recent announcement does not represent a new airdrop for Binance users, but only confirmed the preliminary distribution date and the name change from Spark, Spark, to Flare, FLR. Recall that Binance was one of the first exchanges to announce support for the airdrop of the FLR token, formerly Spark, which was announced on November 25, 2020. In the litigation between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, CICI, both sides took an important step towards the decision of Judge Annalisa Torres. According to a tweet by defense attorney and former federal prosecutor James K. Phelan, both Ripple and the SEC filed summary judgment briefs yesterday morning. Initially, the two parties to the dispute had to submit their aforementioned papers by November 30th. On December 2nd, Ripple and the SEC were supposed to meet to jointly discuss the amendments. Finally, on December 22nd, collective petitions were to be filed to seal all documents related to petitions for a simplified trial. However, as Phelan tweeted, the schedule is likely to shift. This assumes that the edited responses will be submitted around this Friday, December 2nd, Phelan said. The lawyer explained that this assumption is based on the facts that the edited petitions for simplified judicial proceedings should have been submitted on September 19, but filed on September 17, and the edited objections should have been submitted on October 24, but filed on October 21. In recent days, there have been suggestions that December 5, and now, possibly, December 2, could be a significant date for the likelihood of settlement of disputes between Ripple and the SEC. The focus is on Hinman's documents, which can be a strong trump card for Ripple. In order to keep these documents secret and prevent a broader impact on the overall regulation of the cryptocurrency market, the SEC may agree to a settlement. In this regard, what is edited or not edited can be crucial in summaries. If Hinman's documents are not made public by Ripple as evidence, it will be a convincing sign that the company has an advantage. However, a member of the XRP community, lawyer Fred Rispoli, does not believe that it will end so soon. According to him, it is unlikely that the SEC will agree to release Hinman's emails without a court order. And this decision will come into force only after retaliatory measures are taken on January 9th, Rispoli said. He doesn't expect it to happen before the end of January. What do you think are the prospects for XRP in 2023? Write your forecasts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos and do not forget about our contest, write in the XRP comments to add 500 XRP to your account.